Hello my fellow Lacaristas. Um, I'm here to give you the tutorial on the Lisa Frank zebra nails that I did earlier this week. Um, I got a couple requests so I figured I'd give it a try. Um, this is the first tutorial so I apologize in advance if I suck at this. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's get started. Um, I already cleaned off two of the nails so that I can work on these and you can see what it's supposed to look like in case I suck at it now. Um, so first off I'm going to go over it in Bonder. I really like this Bonder. So let me just go ahead and do that really quick. Okay. Um, now this is the part where I started I know it's only the beginning, but this is where I started putting a bunch of tutorials all together because I saw a lot of like sponging methods, but I have really cheap dollar store foundation sponges which do not work very well at all. They like to like suck the polish back up, but um, yeah, so I figured I'd just kind of try to like blot it basically. So this purple kind of sucks. This is Prize Position Purple by Nicole, I think. I have all the polishes listed on the other thread, but I might link you to it later. Um, but this purple sucks, I don't really like it very much, so instead of blotting it, I'm just gonna kind of eh, glob it wherever I want it. Um, also, if you want, I'm pretty sure you can... I didn't think of this before I started doing my actual manicure, but it might help if you coat it with um, like a white base layer first to bring the colors out. I didn't think of that, so... and I kind of forgot again. So that's okay. Uniformity is good, I guess. And then I'm just gonna keep dotting the colors where I want them. Um, I found it works well if you use at least one of the same colors twice. Oops, that was a lot. And then now, since these colors are next to each other, I'm just gonna kinda try and smudge them together-ish. I don't know, it's kinda hard because they're wet, but eh. I'm gonna take some of this purple again and spot it there a little bit. Eh. That didn't really help, whatever. And basically just use all the bright colors that you would find in any of the Lisa Frank stuff, basically. So I know that's not really focusing very well, but I think you kind of get the gist of what I'm doing. I kind of have the tendency to blot it out a little bit too thickly, which, I don't know, as long as they're all wet, it kind of seems like they all kind of tend to merge together anyway, so I'm not sure if that's a big problem or not. But it doesn't always hurt to go over it any of the colors again a second time to help kind of blend them and make them darker, which is what I'm doing. I'm not sure if you would need to do that if you had a white base coat first, and I don't really care that that's super messy. So I'm going to go ahead and do my middle nail now. And they don't always have to be spots, you can do like abstract lines, I guess, I would say. I don't know. It's kind of a weird way of phrasing it. Okay, so that's basically how you do the base. Like, it doesn't look that great. But I'm pretty sure the zebra on top really pulls it together. 
Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and let that dry, and then I'm going to come back to you on how to do the zebra stripes like I did. Okay, so now they're pretty much as dry as my impatience will allow. So I'm going to go ahead and start some of the zebra stripes. Um, basically, to start off, I'm going to be using the M57 Conad plate, just for the pattern because I suck at freehanding zebra stripes. And I'm just going to go over that with my black Sally Hansen one. So let me go ahead and do that for you really quick. Oh, I didn't mess it up too bad. So as you can see, like, that black that I used is not very apparent at all. Like, like you can't even see it on this crappy camera. So we're going to fix that after we do the other one. I'm not really too finicky about the pattern right now just because I'm only using it as a guideline. So, cool. It's there, the pattern. You can kind of see it. Again, I apologize for the crappy video quality, but yeah. So that's gone. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my black striper that I got from... I think I got it from Sally's. I like it a lot. Okay, so basically I'm just gonna kind of go over the lines that we just made. Sorry if I'm a little shaky, I just had a lot of coffee. Okay, so that's probably way too close to the camera. <laughs> Whatever, I don't care. <laughs> okay, so that's basically how you get the zebra stripes to be a little bit more... I don't know, visible? And now you can see that it's pretty much looking like the other nails now. But uh, I noticed this polish has kind of a... It's not really matte. Maybe it is. I don't know. It's like, it's not a very shiny coat of black. So it probably doesn't really look that bright. Okay, so those are the strides. Um, now I'm just going to coat over it with Sesh, almost everyone's favorite, I think. And it's going to help that uh, the kind of matte finish that the black has to be a little bit more bright. And there it is, that's pretty much it. It's not too hard, but... Yeah. Cool. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I didn't suck at this too bad, but yeah. Uh, have fun trying this, and I hope you guys just turn out well too.